it's more again different day different hoodie I managed to find a hair tie before sitting in the chair by the window while I drink my coffee um, sort of thinking about what I've been thinking about just over the last few days regarding uh, I mean just like the stuff that I've been making and I was thinking about the um, the tendency to especially in the, in the software industry to, to just repeat the mantra you know don't reinvent the wheel um, and I'm gonna I, I said on Twitter I was gonna call that a a uh, straw herring because uh, it's a red herring in the sense that it's actually irrelevant and it's a straw man in the sense that uh, it's actually proponents of that it's not necessarily what what people are trying to trying to do um, I you know when I go and I make something from scratch it's because I have a very specific idea of what I want and um, and it's easier to express that than to try to find something somewhere that that does the job already a lot of the time um, so you know I think you know maybe some people are you know, born out of stubbornness or ego or something like that that they're the reason why they want to do make things from scratch instead of uh, just get something off the shelf but I think you know I can definitely say that a lot of the time I would love nothing more than to just be able to get something off the shelf and it's like if I'm doing something from scratch it's because I can't I, I, I actually need the I need the from scratchness and that got me thinking about just sort of like relationships in general, like and by that I mean like business relationships or any sort of information sharing relationship to the extent that it's like, you know, if you're the Unabomber, you're going to be poor. You know, if you're going to be like the weird, you know, guy with the tiger uh, uh, tattoos or whatever, you know, who lives on the island uh, somewhere in, in England... You know, you're going to be extremely impoverished, like, because relationships are sort of what make us, you know, that is what makes us prosperous. So you need relationships. Like, that should be, you know, unquestionable. That shouldn't be very controversial. But I think in software, the nature of a lot of these relationships are very lopsided. And, um, Especially when, you know, what you look at, what, what happens to exist is, is a, what you see a lot is d you've got just silos of data. Um, and I've been sort of thinking of it as data is like nouns. And then you've got code, which is like verbs. And if you, you know, want to verb the nouns, um, then in a lot of these relationships, like you just have a menu of verbs that you can operate over the nouns with. And, you know, and you, this is reflected in like the marketing rhetoric, right? Like the marketing messaging is all about what our software lets you do. And, you know, our product allows you to blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you know, whenever I hear that, I'm kind of like, Bitch, what you talking about? Like, I, I've always been able to do that. You know, there's no letting happening here. It's, it's facilitating is maybe, you know, about the strongest word I would use. Enable, possibly. But, um, you know, not let or allow or permit. And the funny thing is, is like a lot of hosted software is absolutely that is what it reduces to because it's sort of like what service tier are you on right like how much money are you paying like oh we'll unlock this feature or whatever and and the thing that is like making that possible is the fact that the data is on their property and 
you know, that's always going to be the case if the data is on their property. And so, you know, like it seems like the, you know, for the really, really important stuff. And again, I'm not saying like that's not the worst thing in the world. What I'm saying is like for the really, really important stuff, like, you know, one one would possibly conceive that, that it's a, you know, a... a maybe worth considering that the really, really important stuff that you do on premises. And, you know, you might, you know, if you bulk computation, you could ship it over to some, you know, AWS or whatever, you you know, and, and do it, get the result and, and get it back. And like, that's a incredibly sensible way of operating. But a lot of this material, a lot of this stuff, especially a lot of enterprise software that like you could run on a box and I have, right? Like, you know, I have run enterprise infrastructure like on a box under a desk like that, you know, absolutely uh, uh, has been a, a, a perfectly not. I mean, it's not an ideal way to work, but it ha it worked. So, you know, when I think of, of um, you know, a lot of this overwrought infrastructure that trades off like the one bargaining chip that that you have and that is the data um it just sort of seems like a you know a bad way to operate and then you've got shit like you know salesforce or whatever or you've got all these people you know developing uh third party stuff and it's like what's that doing it's just enriching salesforce and i mean they're all you know facebook twitter anything with an api um, and then for your trouble, what you get, uh, if you're, you know, if your product is good enough, um, you know, then the platform that your product plugs into just, you know, internalizes it into them. You know, they might buy you out. They might not, they might just, you know, if whatever you're doing is straightforward enough, they just make their own. And so I don't know. I mean, like, I think this is just sort of what bothers me about about this is this is these these kinds of information dynamics are very well understood when you bleach the computer part out of it when you take the computer part away people understand it just fine um but the second you involve computers people are like huh duh like you know like it's sort of a it, ma it makes it obfuscated somehow like it sort of gets you know overridden by the mystique of the technology, which is silly, um, because computers are almost as old as television. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to finish my coffee now. <laughs>